Discount stock broker Grow has surpassed market leader Zeroda in terms of active users, making it the largest in its category in India. Established in 2016 as a direct mutual fund distribution platform, Grow entered stock broking in 2020 during the pandemic. NSC data reveals that Grow boasts 6.63 million active investors as of September 2023. Zeroda follows closely with 6.48 million users. Grow's share in the total active NSC clientele was about 19.9%, while Zeroda 19.4% shared during the period. Despite facing competition from new entrants like Paytm Money, Upstocks, Blinks, Dhan, and HDFC Sky, a select group of established players continue to dominate this space. A bootstrapped company by billionaire brothers Nitin and Nikhil Kamat, Zeroda has long been the market leader, posting impressive revenue of Rs. six thousand eight hundred seventy-five crore rupees and a post-tax profit of two thousand nine hundred crore rupees in FY twenty-three. Zeroda continues to hold the top spot in terms of revenue and profitability, but lost its top position in terms of active users. Harsh Gehlot of brokerage firm FinEdge shares what gave Grow the competitive advantage. One of the key um, advantages Grow has over Zeroda is that they raised VC money long time back, and they've been able to utilize that money for their growth. So whether it is uh, performance on SEO or marketing or content or creating a um, you know a super app kind of a thing for financial services, they've been able to utilize multiple products as hooks to get people onto their uh, platform. that has rapidly helped them to increase the number of subscribers that they have but then according to me there are many more parameters on which per, for you to be successful as a business you have to do very well on growth success can be attributed to its mobile application and intuitive user interface which are user friendly it has focused on making investment accessible to masses with features that simplify the process Grow follows the no fee model where there are no charges for onboarding. Zero the however charges 200 rupees as account opening fee. In Grow the account opening charges and AMC is free. So beginners and initial investors found it easy to come in this uh, community of investment in the stock market. First thing uh, is this and the mutual fund investors also getting a same app. uh that's also make easier for them grow's business model is designed around simplicity accessibility and zero commission mutual funds apart from simplifying investment the platform has a special focus on attracting new investors especially millennials and first time investors zeroda on the other hand is known for its discount brokerage model targeting experienced traders In terms of products, uh, both provide equity, F and O, and currencies, but uh, commodities is not available on Grow. Although the basic business model remains uh, quite similar for both of them, but uh, Zerodha clearly is chasing higher revenues and uh, margins per client, whereas uh, Grow is looking to add new clients at any cost. So the quality of clients at Zerodha seem better. There is one thumb rule for onboarding uh, clients because a client who pays for onboarding. is more likely to be serious about using your service as compared to the one who onboards free of cost the massive investor interest especially from retail participants was built up during the market crash of march 2020 against the backdrop of covid-19 pandemic according to markets regulator sebi new demat accounts being opened during april 2020 and january 2021 stood at around 10.7 million Independent analyst Ambarish Baliga also points that revenue per client and profitability is much lower in Grow compared to Zerodha. In the long run, he believes it will be a daunting task for Grow to improve the contribution per client. So the question remains about the future prospects of these platforms. Zerodha is a successful company, and um, because it had the first mover advantage, it has a lot of sticky clients, uh, people who regularly uh, trade on their platform. And um, so, I think uh, this this is a slightly difficult industry to operate on, simply because greed and fear are very prominent here, and a person requires uh, ex- exceptionally strong emotional maturity to 
continue investing. Uh, unfortunately, that necessarily is not true because a huge number of people who are especially people who are first time investors typically burn their hands. And so uh, keeping a client remaining, keeping them on um, as part of our platform becomes more and more difficult. And as that becomes more difficult, um, the longevity of the client comes under question. So I think um, I so benefit for sure. I think both platforms offer the same thing. They offer um, a trading platform for people to trade in. But purely in terms of quality of people who would generate revenue for the platform i do believe that zeroda is, a, is in a significantly stronger position uh, whereas grow might have overtaken zeroda in number of subscribers but they still have to prove their profitability i think they are very far away from that grow outgrowing zeroda reflects the changing landscape of investing in india the key differentiators business models and the rise of tech savvy retail investors are driving the growth of these platforms If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. She's working her way to the corner office. Business Standard.